So, um, yeah, your initial take on the fact that uh, that individual called Dylan is uh, now the, 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 the rather interesting face of Nike's women's clothing range. Well, I think Nike is basically saying, men, if you want to wear women's intimate garments, uh, just do it. I think that's the campaign. All right, what's wrong with it, though, Kelly? Go on. So, so why, 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 should it, why, shouldn't Nike, why shouldn't Nike use Dylan, who was born a man, um, as, as part of their campaign? I just think it's just another in, in the numerous encroachments on women's space by men. And this time it's, you know, they're not just wanting to see us in our underwear, they're actually wanting to wear it. So I, I just think it's, it's just consistent, uh, persistent uh, insult, insulting uh, messages to women, which is basically the best women, uh, the best women to wear Nike sportswear are actually men. Uh, it's, it's just... It's just unthinkable um, what went on in that room where everyone said, hey, who should we have as the latest person to model our, our um, garment? Should it be a female sports person? Maybe it could be um, any one of the many celebrated women in sports. But instead of that, they said, no, let's just get a, a TikTok influencer. Who's does, it tie, does it tie in with some people's ideas that being trans is quite literally fashionable? I think it might. I just, I think we just have to stick to the, the really fundamental message, which is men can't be women and we don't want them in our space. And I hope that many women who previously purchased Nike sportswear, uh, you may be shocked that I don't buy sportswear myself, um, but those women that do, I, I hope they pick another brand because we have to start making our voices uh, heard and that basically means money for these Kelly, would um, you would you urge them. would you urge women to boycott Nike now or any brand that advertises um, their wares to to people like Dylan Dylan using people like Dylan to advertise women's items of course I would, but I, I just don't think that works, Patrick. I don't think women do that. Um, unfortunately, as we both know, there's a lot of women that go on with go along with this nonsense. I would just like to see that um, you know capitalism, like woke capitalism, um, actually unfortunately works for all those people on the on the woke side of politics who claim to be against capitalism. It is the most capitalist movement I've ever seen, um, and certainly in 2023. I mean, what's next? Are we going to get somebody with a hairy chest wearing a wonder bra saying "Hello, boys" on billboards? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I believe there's an advertising campaign with that already lined up on it, and uh, I was approached, but unfortunately, my chest wasn't hairy enough. Of, um,